my biggest worry is how we would be able to deal with people and and the communicate um, our needs, our fears, the travel. We're used to a little bit of travel, so we've done some traveling, but um, have never gone this far into a foreign country where we really could not speak any of the language. We've had some helps and um, really have, have been blessed because people here do, um, you know, are interested in us and other people and they do speak um, English. We've had wonderful translators that have been able to help us, um, you know, with any questions that we have. The doctors speak English that we've dealt with uh, for the most part. Um, we've so far had a very good experience, interesting experience. We have um, families from Romania. Um, we have families from Australia, UK. Um, just met a man today from Ireland. Everybody is open. Many people from the US and it was like a little family when we got here. Everybody help wants to help immediately and get you situated and get you um, familiar with the area so that you feel confident to go out and go to the stores and about your money and about your language differences. Um, it's been very rewarding to me to see the kids and the adults that are going through this treatment and seeing the changes in them, um, some small, some pretty large uh, right away, that it's a very positive feeling and it's a, it's a family feeling. People from, uh, met a, a family from uh, Sir, um, Libya today. They don't speak English. Their translator doesn't speak much English, but they speak Chinese. The translator speaks Chinese. Hello, how are you? Good morning. You know, it's always that. It's a good feeling. Um, families from Switzerland and a lot of these people will speak English. Very positive very upbeat um, sometimes the treatments bring you down just a little bit but that attitude is uh, really everybody here has the same positive um, heartwarming attitude and I think that's a very big part of the healing and, and change that's going on in people's lives it's amazing I've had some improvement the past two treatments that I've noticed I can see a little bit better and a little bit clearer than I have when I first got here like a week ago just about or two almost two weeks ago so we have a lot of hope for his his uh, uh, condition improvement we've uh, I've experienced a little bit of fear with the um, the bone marrow aspiration myself and then you know have have had a lot of my fears calmed because uh, of the way he's handled the doctors handle him uh, very patiently the nurses are very patient we're we're very happy with uh, the progress I've just noticed it with my eyes that that um, they're getting better and that I can actually see things like I stood like right probably close to this bed right here and looked out this window at the dragon sign that's over the Lottie Mart across the street and I could actually distinguish that it was a dragon and actually see the color of it and then actually even read the Lottie Mart sign on the right side of it that I couldn't read when I first got here makes me feel really good and I'm really you know glad to be here and I know in my heart that I'm through the worst right now and it's only going to get easier from here on out. In reading things very close when he has to look at the skew numbers or the uh, different numbers on the cans or the, the the food that he's stocking you know he has to be very close to see things. Um, I noticed last night he wasn't he was watching the computer farther away and it looked like to me like he was putting it together faster. Um, 
He'll, he has transportation issues. When he walks, he usually walks with his head down, looking down at what he's, the, the path that he's traveling on so to make sure there's no steps or curbs or anything like that. I think he'll, I hope that he'll start seeing that farther out. And I really truthfully believe in my heart that he'll probably be driving somewhere here down the future, that it, it'll, be, it'll be good for him to where he can you know, use that type of transportation and not have to rely on others. That's a big thing for him. Oh, it's, very, it's very heartwarming. Um, something that I've prayed for and Chris prayed for since he was little to see improvement and, and um, always been told, no, you'll never. It's just always the way it's going to be. So even the little bitty baby steps, the little bitty um, improvement, seeing the sign across the street, to us that's nothing, but to someone who can't see it, that's everything. So little steps, mean a lot. I mean, it's just, it's amazing that we can have even that. We don't expect, no, I shouldn't say that. We expect everything, but we're happy with anything. And if that's the anything, that's great. We'll have had a wonderful experience here, but I don't believe that that's it. I believe there's a lot more to come, and we have to be patient, not in our time, but God's time. Yeah. I've seen his, uh, he's got a, more confidence in his vision. I think he sees, sometimes he sees a little clearer. I know he had a, he had a real boost from his initial IV, because uh, whether it was the solution or the stem cells or the combination, combination of everything, he seemed to see clearer. Uh, uh, it was almost like a burst of, of a difference in his vision um, and then I think with anything you almost get used to that and then it's not as big a deal and they're small steps there there's nothing real major that happens uh, with him anyway he's had some headaches you know I think he's had some stomach aches and different things and I just attribute that to food the difference in our diet and uh, the difference in the location and elevation. I think his. Um, I think he's seeing better. No, I just would highly recommend people that do their research into Baca Biotech. Um, wonderful people. Our translators and the friends that we've met here are. Uh, they're just amazing. Very helpful to us. Thanks to. The the staff, the Baker staff, everybody involved is so wonderful, so helpful. Um, to somebody who's coming here who's, who's questioning should they do that or not, don't hesitate if you're worried about that because there's so many people who can help you. The patients can help you, the staff can help you, the nurses want to do everything they can for you. Don't hesitate, just come. Believe in your heart and come. <laughs>